Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. So this problem, knapsack problem is also using the brute force approach methodology or you can call it as exhaustive search method. So what exactly is this problem and what are the different steps in this algorithm? I shall explain everything in detail with an example. So the problem name is knapsack problem and I have written here exhaustive search as well as brute force both because either you can use the method name as exhaustive search or you can brute force uses what exhaustively all options. So we can call this particular approach that this knapsack problem uses as the exhaustive search approach also. Here basically the knapsack problem. What is knapsack? Knapsack is a bag okay which has got certain capacity. So the capacity of the bag will be mentioned in the problem statement. First let me tell you about knapsack problem then I will tell you what way the question can be framed. So basically in the knapsack problem you are going to fill the items in a bag called as the knapsack bag and the items should not exceed the capacity of the bag. So given will be the capacity of the bag also in the question and also given will be the different items, the weight of those items and the price of those items. So just remember these four inputs will be given in the problem statement. First one is the weight of the knapsack that is the capacity not weight the capacity of the knapsack bag the items that is the list of items and for each of the item what is the price and for each of the item what is the weight so you need to select items so you are given an offer there okay you are given a chance there you are given an opportunity to select items and fill that knapsack bag and take that bag as a gift so you'll try to pick those items that are having a higher price and also you have to see that that uh, whatever is the capacity of the bag the item weight should not exceed the capacity of the bag this will be the problem statement given n items of known weights w1 w2 up till wn that means here i have taken n value as 3 3 items are given in the problem statement and weights are mentioned here each item is having a weight of you can take the unit as kg 1 kg 1 kg 1 kg and the values are v1 v2 v3 so values are like price so here you can see the first item is having a price of ten dollars second twenty dollars and third thirty dollars so you are going to what uh, values and a knapsack of capacity w given in the question will be the capacity of the knapsack also and it is 2 here so this w equal to 2 will be mentioned and what is that find the most valuable subset of the items that fit into the knapsack so you need to find the most valuable subset so same thing in our life is also applicable when there is an any offer in the shopping mall and the mall is giving you an offer and the offer has got some 10 items and from the 10 items you have to pick either one item or more than one item but it should not exceed 5 kg so in that list of items if there is a bag of sugar there is a bag of cement if there is a microwave oven if there is a mixer grinder so definitely your uh, the mall is giving you an offer of picking up till 5 kg so you will not try to go for sugar or you will not try to go for cement or you may not try to go for even clothes also that moment you may think of taking okay i may take a microwave oven or television or whichever is like most valuable in that list of items so same thing is here there are three items mentioned here one two three the weights of each of this item is one 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 that means each item is having one kg weight and the price is 10 20 and 30 dollars respectively now how to select items so for that st steps are there so let me tell you the steps here first step create all subsets of items so you are going to create subset of items what do you mean by a subset the formal definition if you see for the subset is subset of any set consists of all possible sets including its elements and the null set so here in this example i'll show you how to create the subsets so the first step is create all subsets of items second is calculate the total weight so whatever subset you created for each of the subset you find out the total weight if it is one item then the weight will be equal to that item weight only but if you are taking two items in the subset then you have to add up the weight of both the items calculate the profit of all the subsets profit here is the values only the value price anything so in the question sometimes the word value will be given sometime price sometime profit so you just calculate the price of that item if you are taking one item it is just the price of that item if you are taking two items in the subset then you have to add up the price of both the items or if you are taking three items then you have to add up the price of all the three items then consider only those subsets whose total weight is smaller than w smaller or equal smaller or equal to w. if w value is 2 then you, the weight of all the items should be equal to 2 or less than 2 from all such subsets pick the subset with maximum price 
so definitely you will try to see that which subset has got the highest price you will pick only that subset whatever steps i have explained here the same thing i'll show you with an example item is 1 2 3 here weights for each of this item is 1 1 kg values in order to proceed towards the solution you create three columns here first column heading will be the subsets you are going to create all the subsets then you will find the total weight of each of the subset in the second column and you will write in the third column the total price okay this way you have to make three columns see how many subsets are possible actually if you look here there are only three items so it becomes simpler also 2 to the power of 3 8 8 subsets are possible here if items are 4 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16 then you have to write 16 subsets so hope you know how to write the subsets of a given set so the given set here is what 1 2 3 so let me write the subsets here so subset the first one will be the null set and the total weight will be 0 total price will be 0 the first subset will be having only one element see we have three elements totally 1 2 3 we are creating one subset with only one element okay and that element is representing here the item the weight of this item is 1 and the value for this item is 10 dollars fine next we will take the second item okay 2 so then the second subset has got the weight as 1 and uh, the price is 20 dollars the third one this is the third element or the third uh, we are for we are forming here the third subset so its weight is 1 and its price is 30 dollars for the subset you can create with this combination 1 and 2 fine that means these two items you are taking item 1 and item 2 then next you can create 1 and 3 fine then you can create 2 and 3 finally the last subset we can combine all the three items so here we are writing 1 2 3 you can write item 1 in the question if it is item 1 item 2 item 3 then same thing you can write i3 i1 i2 i1 i3 i2 so i'll put a comma here these are the two different items i2 i3 i1 i2 and i3 so this way we have formed the sets now just write down see up till here we had written the weight and price now for the next one i1 and i2 together the weight is 2 together 20 plus 30 this will be 30 next i1 and i3 i1 and i3 1 and 1 together the weight is 2 together the price will be how much 30 and 10 dollar 40 then here you come to this point now i2 i3 i2 i3 together the weight is how much 1 and 1 means 2 kg what about the price i2 and i3 dollar 50 next i1 i2 and i3 if you are taking these three items together because the weight is how much now 3 kg this is not visible but first to write down the subsets you need to write 10 20 30 so it is dollar 60 right? so this way you have to create the subsets so this is what first step we have done created all the subsets calculated the total weight also for each of this subset calculated the price which is the third sub, uh, step then consider only those steps whose total weight is smaller or equal to w so now out of these actually for us because given in the question w value is 2 anything exceeding 2 so this one okay actually this one is not at all included it should not get included in the calculation so we'll write here this is not feasible now out of these options only you need to select so def now equal to 2 kg we have i1 i2 i1 i3 i2 i3 when you check the total price normally we have to compare like this now you have chosen okay I let me go for a dollar item with dollar 10 price but when you compare with because these are all the eligible items for you you can select then when you see this 20 then you will cancel your option and you will say i'll take this item the next one when you compare this is higher so you will try to say yes i'll take this the previous item you want to cancel because this is having a higher price compared to the previous one next one more is what same price so same price you have the option to select any one item then next when you compare you have a dollar 40 which is 30 presently so you will cancel these options and you will see that no i'll be taking this option which option here 
I1 and I3. I will take these two items. That is what you will decide because its price is 40 up till whatever you have seen. Next, finally, when you come to the next option, you see that there are there is a price $1.50 also, which is the highest. So, you will cancel the previous option and you will say this, this one only I will take it because this also has got a weight equal to 2, which is fulfilling the condition. It is equal to W and you will select I2 and I3. These, so, your finally, your decision is what? This one. You have chosen a subset which is the most valuable here among all these prices what you are seeing dollar 50 is highest and the total weight of those items is 2 which is less than or equal to the given weight in the question it is 2 only so this is how you have to find out the value because the question says that find the most valuable subset so the most valuable subset you have found out here now coming to what the most important aspect of any algorithm you have to find out the running time of this algorithm that is the time complexity of this algorithm so how to find out the time complexity of the algorithm time complexity of the algorithm depends here what for the number of items only since it is 3 8 subsets can be created if it is 4 16 subsets are created so 2 to the power of 5 32 subsets get created so as the value of i increases just imagine how many subsets you are creating the moment the i value increases the number of subsets increases exponentially. So, this algorithm will spend most of the time in creating the subsets. That is why we say this algorithm also comes under NP hard problem, non-deterministic polynomial time that is an inefficient algorithm which is spending most of the time in creating the subsets. And in general, if we have to write down the time complexity of this algorithm, it is big O of 2 to the power of n. The pseudocode may not be mentioned sometime, only the steps are given here. So, remember the steps and try to write the time complexity of this algorithm. So, it is 2 to the power of n. The time increases exponentially the moment the value of n increases. So, this algorithm knapsack problem can be solved by other methods also like dynamic programming. So, that's it in this uh, session. Hope you find this helpful. If you find it helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.